good? Today I'm bringing you the very first of my Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battles. First of many to come. Had this battle on my live stream earlier. Uh, this dude had a pretty powerful looking team. But you know I had to come through with the Diggers B and the Sharpedo. Greninja's on every freaking team. That thing's got to go ASAP. Um, other than that, I had a lot of fun. Finally getting back into the Wi-Fi battling. I've been taking my time with my playthrough. I've been a little sick, but now that I'm done with all that stuff, it's time to do 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 So I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button just to start off the video because we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna dive deep into this Wi-Fi battling thing. Look at this background first of all. Everything's looking good. They ch kind of changed the Wi-Fi battling room, not really, but they still kind of changed it. So that's that's respectable. Now. This first turn, I went straight for the Stealth Rock, just in case, because I thought he might want to go for the Earthquake here, and he actually does end up going for the Earthquake. Uh, it's really good that I didn't attack him, because otherwise I would have broken my own Focus Ash with the Rough Skin. But here, I didn't go for Taunt, because he has three Pokemon that can use Stealth Rock. So I didn't know which one it would be, so I just figured it would be best to go straight for the Close Combat. Uh, but you guys are going to see, I do kill myself here. I end up going for the uh, close combat and killing myself with a rough skin as he does actually end up setting up his stealth rock. So that was a very good play on his part. He, he knows exactly what he's doing there. He knows exactly what he was trying to do there. And it, it was just all good. He, he he's, he's sitting gravy right now. He's sitting real good right now. Anyways, I go out to my Greninja. Broken Smogon Frog, as you guys all know. And I actually misclicked on Grass Knot here. So I was really hoping that, he would, that this would kill, first of all. And that he wouldn't switch out, second of all, because... If he switched out to something that I, I meant to click for, I meant to click on Ice Beam. I, I was live streaming when I had this battle, and it was just real hectic. You know how my chat gets if you've ever been to my live streams. It's real crazy. People say the most outrageous things, so I was completely distracted. Speaking of being completely distracted, uh, somebody said something really funny in the chat during this turn, and it it caught me so off guard, and I was so distracted that I didn't even click a button. I meant to switch out. I didn't want my Greninja to stay in here. First of all, because he was a Grass type, so the U turn would have been super effective. Second of all, because I wanted to save my Greninja for later, but like I said, my time ran out and I stayed in and probably ended up going for Grass Knot again. I knew the only reason he'd bring in a Landorus T against my Grand my uh, Greninja is because he would probably be Choice Scarf. So that was just really unfortunate for me. Um, so I lose my Greninja there, but I'm going to go out to my Sharpedo now. I really have no choice just because uh, this Greninja does outspeed the rest of my Pokemon and can probably one-hit KO them. So I'm going to go... Uh, I'm pretty much forced to go for the Protect here just to get the... Uh, the speed boost so that I'll outspeed the Greninja next turn. And since he did go for Gunk Shot, I am going to be able to kill this Greninja in one hit with the Mega Evolution, Mega Sharpedo, Ultra Super Powerful, Ultra Mega Super Powerful Crunch Attack. Crunch a munch a unch a munch a bunch. So like I said, since he's not a Dark type anymore, uh, the Crunch is definitely going to be enough to kill Greninja because Mega Sharpedo has a really, really high attack stat. And not only that, it does have the... Uh, uh, I forgot the name of its ability. Strong Jaw? I think it's Strong Jaw, which increases the uh, the attacking power of moves that involve teeth, you know, like Ice Fang, Crunch, for example, stuff like that. So he does bring in his uh, Landorus Teeth to intimidate me. Um, I definitely wouldn't have been able to take him out with a Waterfall. Uh, I, uh, actually, I'm not quite sure. I, I don't think I would have been able to take him out with a Waterfall, but either way, I'm pretty sure that he, he would have been faster than me unless he's adamant. Um... I don't know. I'm not quite sure why he he left his lot. Ba yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is I'm not quite sure why he left his Latias in. Maybe he thought that his Latias would be able to live a crunch at minus one. But that is definitely not the case because that Latias got straight up munched on. Yummy, delicious, nutritious Latias souls. So I'm going to go for the Protect just to see what move he's going to lock himself into with the... Uh, with the landers here, he is going to lock himself into U-turn. Like I said, he's Scarfed, definitely Scarfed. So I'm going to go out to my Diggers B because this is probably the only Pokemon that I want taking damage uh, when it comes to switching into a move. I'm pretty sure I outspeed his Heatran. So that thing will be gone with an Earthquake. But not only that, he has a Beedrill on his team, a Mega Beedrill. Mega Beedrill is probably one of the most frail Pokemon in the entire game. So a quick attack from my very, very strong, very, very powerful Diggers B is going to wipe that thing out quickly with the swiftness. So I'm not worried about the Beedrill either. So he is going to Mega Evolve, which is, you know, that's that's fine and all. That's fine. That's dandy. That's cool. That's cool. But I'm a Diggersby. It doesn't matter. So he, I think he knows this, which is why he ends up going for the Protect here. 
But since I am Diggersby, even if he does want to switch out to that Heatran, it's just going to get Earthquake the very next turn. Even if he does want to switch back out to that Intimidate Landorus T, it's still going to get two hit KO'd after Rocks uh, from my Quick Attack because I'm just that strong. I'm Diggersby. If he wants to switch out, that's fine. If he wants to stay in, that's fine. Quick Attack is going to be an easy two hit KO from where he is at because he doesn't have any defense EVs. He's the Choice Scarf variant. If he was bulky, obviously I wouldn't be able to take him out, but since he doesn't have any defense investment, it's going to be an easy two hit KO with the uh, Quick Attack. And all he really did is make it easier for me to kill his B Drill because now he has to switch back into Stealth Rocks. He's gonna take another quick attack. I was thinking he might want to switch back to his Heatran just to uh, force me to go for quick attack, uh, make me use up a turn uh, with my Life Orb damage, but I'm not quite sure if he knew that I only had one more hit uh, of Life Orb left because I actually lived this Life Orb hit with five HP, so it, it, could've, looked, it could've looked like I only had one more uh, a chance to go for an attack and, live, and, and not live. So, I, I'm not quite sure what he was thinking there, like I said. If it was me, I probably would have switched to my Heatran just to get him to, uh, I don't know, maybe kill himself with a quick attack from the Life Orb recoil. But, I don't know, he stayed in with his Beedrill, died to a quick attack, and then he died to an Earthquake. So, tch, bruh, bruh, Diggersby is putting in work. Diggersby is always putting in work, which is why his ears are dirty because he's always digging in that dirt trying to get that money. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this very first Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire battle. It's always an honor to bring you guys content. I always appreciate the support. Speaking of support, I recently hit 500,000 subscribers. I'm trying to work on something special for that. I don't know when it'll be ready. It might be a while, but I really, really want to give you guys something back for helping me, helping us get to 500,000 that you guys don't even understand the gigantic number that is 500,000 subscribers. I When I started YouTube, I was very, very, very happy when I hit 100 subscribers. I never thought it'd happen. It was, it was a great day. Cause you know, I never started doing this for money or for anything other than pure enjoyment. I loved playing Pokemon from day one. I uploaded content to YouTube because when I uploaded the content to YouTube, I got a great amount of feedback. Everybody was like, yo, Shofu, man, I love your videos, make more, blah, blah, blah. So I kept doing it, and now here I am, almost five years later, still making videos for you guys, and I really just love every single one of you guys. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's freaking insane. It really is. Because like I said, I was freaking ec 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 ecstatic when I hit 100 subscribers. And then I, 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 hit, I hit a goal of a, a thousand subscribers. I was just as happy as when I hit 100. And then I grew and grew and grew. And I, my goal was just to hit, you know, 50,000, 100,000. And when I really got, when I hit 100,000, I was content. I was like, yo, I hit 100,000 subscribers. That is a freaking amazing goal to reach. Not too many people can say they have 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. But then I just kept growing and growing and growing. I was doing the same thing that I've been doing since day one. And I guess it was just working out because now here we are. 500,000 subscribers and I can't believe it. You guys have really supported me, man. And it's crazy because I, you guys are giving me the opportunity to do what I love for a living. And it's, 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 there's no, there's no, there's nothing in this world more beautiful than that. I promise you nothing in this world is more beautiful than doing what you love for a living. And I, I have you guys to thank for it. And I'm really thankful. I really appreciate it. So I'm working on something. I'm cooking something up. Be patient, people be patient. Um, I really, I'm going to try to come through on this. So, uh, Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I am out of here. Bye. <laughs>